Today, over 2 billion people lack access to adequate electrical power and heat. Dramatically reduces the quality of education, of their health care, of their work, the quality of their lives. Bringing the myriad benefits of electrical power to these communities, of which 85% live in rural communities, was one of the major considerations discussed throughout the Equinox Summit. There was a desire to bring these benefits quickly and in ways that created better, cleaner, lighter electrical systems than the large infrastructure intensive and capital intensive ones that we have currently, which have legacies that last decades to centuries. With these goals in mind, the pathway that emerged from the summit focused around the creation of inexpensive, portable, and durable technology that could generate even the small amounts of electricity, the first few watts of power that can dramatically improve the quality of lives for those two billion people, lay the foundations for expanded education and economic development. Lightweight organic solar voltaic coupled with port portable batteries were the technological foundations of the pathway. This needed to be coupled, though, with policy foundations and corporate engagement, the sort of social par partners we hope to engage to uptake the first generation of these technologies and lay the foundations for larger scale societal uptake. The strength of organic photovoltaic lies in the diversity of materials uh, that can be designed and synthesized for the absorber and the acceptor uh, and the interfaces. The goal, of course, is to design more efficient and stable devices, often referred to as solar by the meter. Their plastic nature makes them easy to transport, use, and install. They are light and can be installed into irreg irregular surfaces uh, due to their extreme uh, flexibility. They can be installed on a piece of a cloth, rolled up and carried to the installation point and laid across a roof. Installation requires no special equipment or skills. The tent on the right-hand side of this picture has the capacity, for example, to generate two kilowatts of power from flexible solar panels daily. Driving down costs will require identification, of course, of niche markets in developed contexts where uptake of next generation technologies can help uh, drive the price points down. Integration of flexible solar into smart microgrids that capture the unique characteristics of rural and remote energy needs is again transformative. Such a development can help obviate the need for large capital investments required for extension of the traditional grid and the distribution infrastructures that render energy services unaffordable for the poor. The technical challenge, of course, is to improve the low efficiency of the cells. Currently, they are only in the order of 8% or so demonstrated in the labs and 5 to 6% at the production level. So driving down costs and improving the efficiency will require much new research and development effort, and of course, application in niche markets uh, for uptake in the early generation. If the economics of off-grid access can be made transparent and innovative financing mechan mechanisms, such as microfinancing, brought into play, then the challenges of energy access can be overcome. An aggregate of small loads and distributed generation resources is another aspect to think about providing power to a community. This, such, such microgrids operate as single systems that provide both power and heat. An integrated system that must be able to provide sufficient and continuous energy to a significant portion of the demand internal to the microgrid. A microgrid distributed energy resource can include, of course, high frequency AC micro turbines and DC systems, as well as solar fuel cells and a combination of others. So this is the ability to try and tap into multiple sources of locally renewable resources. This technology is in its early stages of development, but has the potential for near-term implementation, such as military and humanitarian applications. This can help get first-generation technologies deployed to lower the cost and bring to scale production. Improved coordination between governments, donor agencies, and the private sector is needed to raise awareness 
about the untapped market and accelerate the application of OPVs. Initial steps would be to identify partners and funding sources to help advance research and development. Within the next five years, business models and policy frameworks should be developed. We also need to convince industry that high technology goods do have a market even in off-grid village settings. <laughs> 